Well, we've made it to day 14 of our pray and go journey. I hope there are many of you that are going along this journey with us. If you are, maybe drop it in the comments and let us know how let us know how it's going. We've got um like I said today's day 14 and day 14 actually it says pray for your pastor. Again, this is the second time in the 14 days that we prayed for our pastors and I'm praying for my pastor friends today and I'm praying for those who are mentors in my life who pastor and shepherd me. And you say, well, what do, what do I pray for, Pastor? What, 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 how do you pray for your pastor? I'm going to tell you one good way to pray for your pastor. It's pray the scriptures. And one that I really love is Joshua 1, nine. It says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Pray that your pastor, myself included, and pray for me, please. Pray that we be reminded of that, that, that we're to be strong, we're to be, to create, that we're to be courageous. You know, it tells us to not grow weary in, in well-doing, and that's what we're supposed to do. We have to stay strong. We can't be weary. We have to be courageous. I said Sometimes I think that when we're doing all these things and everything we're working on is to be Great Commission Christians, to spread the gospel. And some of you may think that, hey, it's, oh, it's easy for a preacher, it's easy for a pastor to be able to spread the gospel and you know, to be able to do these things. You know, it's hard for me. Well, let me tell you, it's not any easier for us. The Great Commission applies to us. It may be easier for us to stand up in front of a crowd and deliver a message. You can deliver a sermon. But when it comes to one-on-one -on -one sharing of Christ, to go up to a total stranger maybe even and begin a conversation and share with them Christ, look, that's hard for us too. This may really amaze you to learn that a lot of pastors are actually introverts. We spend a lot of time in in prayer and in study and reading the word and you know we're able to give messages in front of crowds when it comes to one-on-one -on -one, a lot of time a lot of pastors are are introverted they kind of stay to themselves you know but you, you pray for this pray for your pastor that they'll be strong and that they'll be courageous and that way they'll be able to better shepherd you and lead you in the days to come and as we begin to share more and more of the gospel of jesus christ with others so if that's your command, that, that's your commandment today, if you will. <laughs> that's your thing, that's your duty, that's your task today, is pray for your pastor. And while you're at it, pray for all the other pastors that you know as well. Let's do that right now. Father God, I pray and lift up all the pastors in the lives of all those people who are listening. Those, Lord God, who are in the sound of my voice, I'm lifting up their pastors as well this morning. And Father God, my friends, my pastors who who are mentors and shepherds to me, those that I look up to. Lord God, I pray for them. Give them strength. Give them courage. Lord God, that they would not grow weary in these days to come. Lord God, lift them up. Let them be ever mindful of the task that you've set before us, that we share the gospel of Christ Jesus with everyone. Father God, give them strength. Lord God, give them a new infilling of your Holy Spirit. Pour out upon them that power and that boldness that comes with the Holy Spirit. Father God, renew within them the joy of their salvation. Father God, I pray all of us that we would experience that. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Look, go out there. This, this thing that we're doing, don't make it too difficult. Get out there and share the good news. Share what Jesus has done for you with someone else, all right? And look, don't forget to invite them to church, especially at this time of year and this Christmas season. We've got our children's production at the Bunky Church this Sunday morning. We'd love to see you there. We've got Christmas Eve services coming up. We've got Christmas Eve candlelight service in Marksville. We have New Year's Eve candlelight and fireworks at the Bunky Church. Plenty of opportunity for you to invite others to come. And if you don't have anywhere to go, I'm inviting you right now. Come and join us. We would love to have you. Look, you go out there and you just continue to be awesome, all right? And I'll catch up with you tomorrow.